in this video we are going to see that how are we gonna create a google form so for those of you who don't know what is the purpose of a google form uh, so it is basically just like a form that you can share with anyone on the internet they can fill up that form and all the information that you get would be stored in an excel file so this kind of a form can be used for uh, taking quizzes assignments in uh, academics or maybe to get information from the users uh, maybe you can get their feedback maybe you can get them to rate your products or some general information like shipping details of your users so basically if you want to interact with a large number of people on the internet and want only some information from them in a specific way in a specific format and want to directly store that in the database then google form is the best tool that you can use so without any further ado let's just see that how are we going to create a google form the process is very simple open up your chrome or any other browser and simply just type in form 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 once you do that uh, the second link that is shown over here that is google forms sign in let's just click on that once you do that you will get to google forms page so this is the simplest way of going to the google forms page once you're in the forms page you will see that these are some of the forms that are pre-designed by google and you can use these forms as well you can edit them as you want with each subject that is given like if you want contact information from your uh, users this form you can use for rsvp you can use this form party invite or a t-shirt sign up but what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new form just to show you guys how to create a form so let's just click on this plus icon this will allow me to create a form now the important thing is that what things you need to keep in mind while creating a form the first thing is the title of the form so what is the purpose of your form suppose i want uh, i'm running an e-commerce business and i want my customers to enter their shipping information like whenever i'm getting some order from the customer so i want them to enter their shipping information so this form's purpose is that it is a shipping details form so that is what i'm going to add in the titles that is shipping details okay and you will get these bunch of options over here like bold italics so this all you can perform uh, just to make sure it is looking a little bit more presentable so i'm just going with the bold one over here for shipping details then in the form description you can add essential information like what i want my customers to do is i don't want them to add the country code uh, before their mobile number or a zero digit before the mobile number so what i'm going to do i'm just going to give them some instructions in the form of a bullet point so let's just add a bullet list um only enter 10 digits mobile number this is my first instruction uh and the second instruction is that um please make sure your entries are correct your entries are correct so these are the two uh, details two instructions that i want to give to my users these i have entered then i have the questions so in the questions you first have to enter the question then you can select the type of the question you want i want the users to enter their mobile number so this is not a multiple choice question this is going to be a short answer type of a question let's just select that and uh, the question is going to be just here let's just select short answer and in the untitled question let's just change that and select or basically type in mobile number uh that's it and i want this information to be required that means compulsory for the user to understand uh, to enter of course i do so let's just click on required and that's it you can create a form with as many fields as you want and even with a single field as well so just a single field mobile number and your uh, form is created so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.